You, you've been a heavy smoker for years. You have a weak heart. How long? Weeks? Days? Days at most. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Truman. Excuse me. Harry's temperature is spiking and he's presenting with a rash. Uh, all right, call me before you move her. Oh, Cece, you won't take her. What? Does Henry know? They won't take her. But they had a bed. Well, they haven't anymore. They've had an emergency transfer in. All right, so we've become everyone else's dumping ground. OK, let's take a look. I've started him on prophylactic penicillin. Any chance of moving into Pico? Not yet. OK, let's prep for a lumbar puncture. It's just a precaution. It's meningitis, isn't it? Tell anyone about this. If you tell Mrs. Carter. What? What are you staring at? I know a secret. What secret? I know they keep sweets, lots of sweets, and chocolate. Where? We really shouldn't be in here. We really, really shouldn't be in here. No, this way. We're gonna get done. Come on, have a look. Cool. This is our secret now, Matty. Yours and mine. Sounds stable. There, there. There, there. Harry. That's a good boy. Okay, my darling. Okay. Okay, it's okay, baby. Okay, what do you want? God knows no. what happened. He won't say. Matthew, behave. Leave me alone. All I want to do is get a look at your head, OK? Leave me alone! I'm sorry about this, Matthew. Grandad's warning you. Uh, uh, it's OK, Mr Grant. I've got this. No! Leave me alone! They say he's got behavioural problems. Used to be a child who was just naughty. Now it's ADHD, this autism, that. Sit still! It's all right. All I want to do is get a look at your head. That's it, Matthew. Oh, this is it's great. It's just great. Matty! Matty, open the door. Come on, open the door. Are you in trouble? You and me both. Jess, get these straight up to the lab and what results within the hour. It's clear and slightly viscous, Jess. It's a good sign. Call you. I know. He didn't answer. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. He's fitting. Harry, Harry. Call Piku. We need to move him now. Watch out. He's a fighter. <laughs> Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Don't you even think about it. Back on that table, please. Right. Let's have a little look. So, how did you do it then, Matty? How did it happen? Prefer Matty or Matthew? <laughs> That's a spit fire. Looks like that's been in the wars as well. Right. Let's turn that way for me. Clean that blood up. The uh, seizure was short and self terminating. It coincided with the spike in the fever. Uh, he's had kefotaxin. Fluids? Uh, 300 mils. Uh, we've done an LP. We're still waiting on bloods and a CSF microscopy. As soon as I get a break, I'll come back and see. OK? Uh, Jessica, we got this for the little one. Thanks. You take care.
Jess, he's gonna be fine, all right? He's gonna be just fine. He could be yours, Adam. He could be yours. Do you realize you may be my very last patient? Minor head injury, not even a stitch. How's that for a career finale? Okay, that's you done. <laughs> All over. Oh, hey, you can't stay forever. Come on. Come on now, no more of your silliness. Sorry, um, we've just had a call from Matty's school. The boy's gone missing. What? Um, Leo Franklin. His parents arrived to pick him up, but he wasn't there. Do you know anything about this, Matty? Matty, if you know what's happened to this boy, you should tell us. Side, Emma. Gentle, gentle. You say could? Could be mine? I don't know. How can you I not don't know, know something I'm like I'm not sure. There's a chance. Why wait, Jessica? Why, why wait until now to tell me this? Because if he dies. When I asked you before, you said there was there was no way. You said you were certain th that. that you wanted to know before. Kind of a question, I didn't want to burden you. I, I thought I'd be better off dealing with this on my own. Of course. Of course you did. That's what you do. Adam. This is too much. It's too much. <laughs> yeah, I need a police officer over here right now. I want to report a kidnap. It's strange danger at school. Mrs. Carter said never get in a car with someone you don't know. But Leo did. The man who took him, what did he look like? Matty, it's really important that you tell us anything you remember about him. He had brown hair and the car was red. He tried to take me too, but I ran away. Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. Don't have a spare room here. Yeah, I do, actually. Mm -hmm. Would you be willing to rent it out? No, not really. But Dixie's just had a house stood up, hasn't she? Yeah. Just ask her. She could only say no. Yeah, but what if she feels obliged, you know? What if she says yes when really she means no? Um, do you know what? I'm struggling to summon any interest in this conversation. Oh, nice. We're going to have a breach on our hands if we're not careful. Darwin won't take her. Oh, try telling that to Henry. Paper pushing oh. moron. What is this? Trust budget meeting in about ten minutes. Jordan should be going up. What? No, I have to... I mean, I'm needed on the shop floor, Tess. Well, there won't be a shop floor if we don't get a fair share of the budget. I can't be everywhere at once. Jordan manages. Wrong thing to say? Quite possibly. <laughs> is he resigning or not? Not, I think. Mean. You think? Oh, I can't keep up. You tell me as soon as the police get here, yeah? Uh, cubicles need stocking. Why can't Alice do it? Afternoon off. What? Alison Cudgel's entitled to time off, just as you are. Cubicles, please. Alice and Curtis? Whoa, 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 whoa. you just said Alice and Curtis. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I thought he dumped her. Are they seeing each other again? No. Then why'd you say it? Cubicles now. Apparently, Jane Austen stayed here when she was younger. Well, I think it was Jane Austen anyway. It might have been Bronte. Who was it who wrote Wuthering Heights? There's no need to be nervous. I'm fine, really. Hey, it's me, Alice. It's me. It's just budgets. I hate budgets. I hate paperwork. Responsibility. Hate. This isn't just about the work, is it? Do you ever get the feeling everyone's lying to you? All the time. I hate it. You know what your problem is? Uh, no, but um, I have a feeling you're about to tell me. 